Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk about executing leadership vision as a realtor. My name is Gumi Ram Reddy. I'm the chairman and managing director of ARC Group. And also, I'm the national vice president of Credai. First, let me talk about Credai. Credai is a confederation of Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association of India. This is an uh, Indian realtors body, which, is, which presence is there in, across the country in uh, 230 cities. And over 15,000 developers are the members in that uh, confederation. I am the vice president of that uh, organization. My company is ARC Group, which we are into real estate, and uh, infrastructure construction, then we are into also agriculture, then we have a foundation called ARC Foundation. In the real estate, we do the construction, mainly we are into residential, mostly into residential. In the infrastructure, we build uh, various uh, structures like uh, industrial, institutional, all residential, everything comes into, I mean, into all buildings. So our recently completed projects, Tata Boeing, Tata Lockheed Martin, Tata Sikorsky, all multinational company projects were completed. So in, in uh, re residential, we have done many multi-solid pro projects wherein we got uh, Crisil five-star rating for our, most of our good projects, best, best projects, we have been recognized that. In agri, we are doing natural farming, we are trying to go do the, avoid the using the pesticides and uh, fertilizers. We are uh, promoting that. Then foundation where we support the poor and underprivileged students in their education. So wherein many already doctors, engineers, already, uh, I mean, already they are working and they are giving back to our foundation also. I'm very happy about that. So today I'm talking about the vision. What is your vision? Everyone in this hall should have a vision. All the way you came from various part of the world to attend this conference, we should have a vision for that. So vision should have a, a motivating factor. For everyone to be successful, you should have one, one motivating factor. What is the motivating factor? For ARC, we have a motivating factor. I mean, my, our, our ARC's vision is, our company's vision is to have a turnover of 5,000 crore Indian rupees, which is $650 million by 2030. The company which is not even 100 crores turnover, which is aiming for 5,000 crore turnover by 2030. So vision should have four things as per my this thing, timeline. We should have a, should set a timeline. So I have set a timeline for, to, by 2030, my company is going to achieve the goal what I have set. Then goal, end goal. What is the end goal? The goal for my company, it is 5,000 crore rupees. I have to, my turnover should be there by 2030. Then to have a, in the vision, you should have a team is most important. So we should build a good team to achieve your goal. That is, we are already in making up. We are building the team, team of experts in various fields we are recruiting. Then challenges. We have to always think about the challenges, forecasting the challenges. I think many of you know about the SWOT analysis. So in that, always you, mostly we should think about the threats. What are the threats? Currently, you can see the pandemic, how it is really making a big difference to the whole world. So in the real estate, when we, when we thought of, I mean, announced that our company is going to be Python crore company, the next two years completely business is very badly impacted. So we should also try to face the challenges, I mean, visualize the challenges. Then a goal is a dream with a clear direction, plan of action and deadline. Any goal without direction and plan of action and deadline, it is not easy to achieve. So every goal should have these three things. Without that, it is very difficult to achieve a goal. So we should set in a 
when you're setting a goal, you please follow these things. Then your company vision. Every one of you have a vision. So what are you are looking at? Are you looking at best place to work? Are you are going to have a best product? Then are you looking for the awards and rewards? Are you going to do the community surveys? Are you are looking for the highest profitability or any other goal? You should set some goal for yourself. So for me, my company, I have a goal. Why? What is a motivating factor for me is after reaching five, I mean, while reaching 5,000 crores, I wanted to serve the community. So through my, I just mentioned, through my foundation, I am helping the various students. So already many have become doctors, engineers and all. Now we have my target for 2030 is we wanted to make 100 civil servants. So I think um, most of you should be known. I mean highest, uh, uh, I mean uh, position in any, uh, in the government of India, IAS, IPS officers who are going to take the big positions in the government. So I wanted to help the students with a poor background, 100 civil servants through my foundation, I wanted to get it. Then also sports person we are encouraging. One girl now, she's already uh, playing, and next year I think she's going to be the national, Indian national team in a cricket. And one boy and girl, their target is 2028 Olympics medal in badminton. So I'm supporting them. Similarly, I, I too wanted my company should be the great place to work in the country. And also, best real estate company in the country. These are the motivating factors which is driving me to work hard. The company, I never, for my 30 years of my journey, I was a simple journey. But once I have decided to uh, go grow big, I am working really hard towards that. So every one of us should have some motivating factor to set the, when you, while you are setting the goals. Then while doing a lot of exercise in my growth, so we, in my company, we are following three T's formula. That trust, train and track. The trust, first of all, I believe myself that my company is going to be 5,000 crore company by 2030. The trust is very important. Unless I believe reaching that goal is very, very difficult. So I'm trusting myself that my company is going to be 5,000 crore company by 2030. Then how it is going to become 5,000 crore company, the company which is not even 100 crore company, how it's going to become 5,000 crore company. So I'm training myself in various ways, recruiting the people, going for, and pitching for the big projects, then systems, processes, development, lot of hard working is being done to make this company to reach that goal. So that is I'm calling as a training. So I'm training myself to all in various ways. Then the third is track. I'm tracking, my, I mean, when you're doing, trust is there, training is there, but I have to track myself, whether I'm going in the right direction. I set the goal for that so many crores of rupees. This year, how much has done? Next year, how much it is? Have I done? Have I delivered? Have I recruited the right people? I mean, like that various, everything, whatever the decision I'm taking, whatever I'm implementing, whether it's going the right track or not, I have to track. So we are following this uh, 3T formula. And also, it is only, not only for myself, I'm Reflecting this on, I'm implementing on my employees also. Like, I trust my employee that he is going to deliver this, whatever assignment is given to him. And also I'm training him to deliver the whatever assignment is given to him by providing all the facilities what he needs. Then third thing, I'm also tracking them. So this is being applied across my company by all the employees. Senior employees are going to trust themselves. Again, they are going to trust this thing. We just started implementing that. It's definitely, it's already giving good results. I think it may help every one of us in the hall. Then I have a 10 point mantra. So which is, I mean, if you want to be successful, you should have positive thoughts and positive people. So unless you have positive thoughts in you, 
it is difficult for you to be successful. So to achieve any goal, first you should have the positive thoughts. Unless you have positive thoughts, it's very difficult. And people around you also should be a positive people. Suppose if you are taking some decision, if it comes out with all negative thoughts, so it is difficult, it won't motivate you to go further. So always you should have the people surrounded by with the positive people. And you should, first of all, you should have positive thoughts. The second thing is make a commitment to yourself to achieve a goal. First of all, you should make a commitment to achieve a goal. Unless you make a commitment to reach the goal, it is difficult. First of all, the commitment is most important. You have to make a commitment to yourself. Then ignoring the important things will lead to urgency. You know, when normally we do, I also do many mistakes, some important things we ignore, and suddenly it becomes urgency. In urgency, always we trend, I mean, tend to make mistakes. So if these things are, I mean, always important things, always you should prepare well in time, advance, and make uh, notes. And in advance, if you prepare, there will not be any urgency then greatest coaches are the greatest critics. So unless there is a criticism is there, it is very difficult to grow big. Always if you are thinking good, good and all, so no criticism is, nothing is there. So unless someone finds a fault in you, so it is difficult for you to grow. And even when you talk about the great players in the world, so their coaches must have taught them like anything. They must have tortured them like anything. So like that, in, in your company also, you should have some critics should be there. Even from as a management CMD also, I always welcome the criticism from my staff also, senior staff also. Always I reflect myself. So criticism, always I welcome that. So greatest coaches all, always, I mean, criticism is very important. It's a part of our business, it should be there. Every time somebody has to, even you, you, you have to apply to your employees and to yourself and all. Then reflection is the process of learning. So I mean, I love a lot of examples in my life. So whenever there is a failure, I reflect myself, why this is fail? How it has become? So from that, I'm learning a lot. So every one of us, every failure, we should reflect. Even, I mean, unless you have a reflection, so it is becoming, it will become, when next mistakes, it, again, it's going to be continued. Once you reflect, so then, the same mistake will not happen again. So reflection is, uh, is the process of learning. Every mistake I learn, I failed many things. In my success journey, I am happy to share that I failed in 10th class. I mean, I was a good student, but uh, in between, I mean, for some reason I failed in 10th class, by which today I become this. I mean, had I not failed in 10th class, I would definitely not become uh, an entrepreneur here today. My thought process was something different. So, I mean, in the business also, uh, one project I failed, then I learned so many things. So that 5,000 crore turnover, why I'm thinking one, one big project, I failed to complete. As an entrepreneur, when I started with one engineer, 30 years I never failed. In 30th year, where my company as a CEO, then uh, CEO, general manager, project manager, so many people are there, but simplest project we could not uh, complete in time. I failed. Then there's a big reflection. So, I mean, this is how we go on learning the things. I have learned many things in my life that way. We need skill and will to succeed. Yes, people have a skill that doesn't have the will. So success will not be coming that easily. And somebody will have a will and they don't have a skill. So both should have. So I mean, skill always helps if, with, if he has a will then only he can complete the, he has a willing but he will not be able to complete without skill so skill and will are the, should be part of our life direction is most more important than the time so always you look at the time is most important most important all but direction also is very important unless you have a proper direction whatever time is there it is not easy to i mean complete whatever you wish so Always directionless things you should not be followed. You should always have a proper direction when you are having when you are ha having some goals in your life. Then practice makes permanent. Normally we use the practice makes perfect, but 
practice makes permanent when you continuously doing certain things good things when you practice it is become part of your life you don't even talk about that in your organization also you should have certain practices it should be continuously when you practice those things it becomes permanent and there's a proper i mean way of that company the moment you think about that company those practices will be seen so always you should um, make things continuous practices it makes i mean it becomes permanent in uh, your company then casual attitude always leads casualty certain things we take very lightly very casual so those things again leads to casualty in the construction especially i mean safety of the structure when you're constructing so if you are taking certain things like scaffolding when you are building a tall buildings if you are taking certain things lightly then lot of accident will happen many many companies you must have seen buildings get collapsed and the people die and all those things so never never ever be as a casual attitude so that may have a big damage to your company then beat your own records and try to be better every day so every day you have certain goals in your life every day try to become something i'll just give my own examples how i, I was so happy when i'm beating my own records i'm a marathon runner which i mean at the age of 57 i started running uh, marathons so there's a reason for it but uh, every time I, i run half marathons every time my first marathon was 3 uh, hours 7 minutes then second marathon was 2 hours uh, 47 minutes uh, 29 seconds the third marathon was 2 hours so 46 minutes then fourth half marathon was 2 hours 43 minutes every time i beat my records i feel so happy about it it's matter of 1 minute or 2 minutes but it gives a lot of joy and it gives more strength to me the goals can be achieved so i mean always set some targets the moment you achieve those targets definitely it's going to help you further so always i mean try to every day you try to learn something try to beat your own records whatever i mean small big whatever it may be so that encourages you to do better things then when talk comes to as a realtor promises as a realtor so this five factors i take it as a very very important for any realtor quality of the product very very important so every one i mean when you talk about investing in the real estate they come i mean their life term earnings they are putting into the property so you have to take care of them you should feel their pain i mean then when the quality is product is not given to them how they feel so quality of the product is very 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 important then comes to delivery on time delivery so whatever you promise it has to be delivered on time so while promising you be careful about it what you are promising but once you promise something try to deliver on time then always you should have a best customer relation so customer relation is very very important i am proud to say that my company google rating i think all many people will look at the ratings and all we have 4.9 rating over 700 people rating as given but i am very proud to say i mean we have a 4.9 rating because always we interact with the customer whenever there is a problem we attend them problems do arise in the construction we don't have a great skilled man for especially in india the technology is not fully uh, utilized yet so we have we are facing lot of challenges with the manpower so we are not getting the best out of it so we do face challenges and but whenever there is a problem we are attending them and we are uh, gaining the confidence in the customers so building the relation with the customer is very very important then again employment so in our industry is giving lot of employment huge employment generator in india i can say real estate or the construction is the highest employment generator after the agriculture and even gdp growth also this is the second largest industry in gdp growth also so real estate is given lot of importance we are giving lot of employment generation is given then economic contributors that's what i am talking about a gdp also so india in india real estate and construction industry is a big big thing so 
jobs i mean highest employment generation during pandemic we, we, we have seen how the workers were traveling from men for home places I mean lot of uh, issue that, that time everybody realized that how many people are working in construction industry so we have to focus on these things so definitely i mean you should will be getting a better recognition i can say today in india especially i don't know how the how in the other parts of the country the real estate industry is not recognized as a very good industry the realtor is not treated as a a a, 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 a first class uh, uh, entrepreneur because of various reasons we have to reflect ourselves also because of various challenges we f- industry faces we don't deliver on time quality issues legal issues lot of things uh, is arising so as a realtor we should also reflect our set to make this industry into a, a better recognized industry then i think it's a very short this thing i mean uh, thank you for uh, giving this opportunity i am ready to take the questions from you because i wanted i will be more happy to be interacting than uh, expressing myself so any questions i am ready to take from you thank you so when things don't go according to what you planned how do you set uh, forth measures to correct that like can yeah. you give us some examples yeah so my own examples so recently uh, i have re- recruited a senior employees from uh, a, a multinational company normally whenever there is civil engineering uh, uh, i am re- uh, civil engineer i am recruiting without my interview that i mean various levels of interviews will be there without me interviewing i don't recruit but a senior engineer who got a lot of experience the project uh, timelines are very i mean we got a project immediately we have to start so i gave the liberty to him recruit the people so i mean without me interviewing so he has recruited and 3 months i mean it's been passed so we are giving the notice for five employees whom whom i mean he has uh, recruited around 25 30 employees here recruited out of which five employees we are giving the notice period to them so we are tracking them how they are performing and all so i mean again tra- i mean track metrics will be there because immediately you may not get it but continuously in the process you will be realizing that thank you any other questions why sorry yeah the why you set a vision to financial growth yes it's a great answer for me so for me uh, social development is very i mean that's a hot to me i wanted to support many people in the education and sports so today with the funds the turnover what have i am able to reach to only few people so i wanted to grow into multifold to help the society in a better way so continuously i'm going adding to the people supporting the people so that is the biggest motivating factor for me so my i am not uh, doing the business to earn the money i am earning the money out of the business my goal is not to earn the money my goal is to complete the projects earn the money out of the projects then whatever best i can be i can do through my foundation that is the biggest motivating factor for me wish you all the if best you are not, if you are not consider, i mean convince you can further grill me <laughs> no no I'm wishing you all the best thank you so much yeah plan b at start yes we have but definitely doesn't work every time yes we always i mean whenever we think first i started thinking negative toward that first normally when i take up the project whenever i going for the business what are the negative factors then i go to one side one side decided to take it then never look back i'll just see that it is completed whether i mean i may lose the money in the project but i'll see that i'll complete the project
any other so is it done thank you thank you so much thank you uh, uh, he has a question yeah sorry i'll just keep you there for a second sorry um when you elaborated on um the vision the company's vision about uh, fi financial fi the financial vision uh, and the cause your cause is a very noble one i uh, i commemorate you for that um i'd like you to expand on from a leadership standpoint how do you keep everyone working in the company motivated aligned on the same vision could you expand on that please yeah it's a very good question i think it should be useful for many so my vision is already set so whenever i recruit the employees there will be a process so our hr human resources team will explain what exactly the vision of the company what is the company process so everything will be explained to them so i mean that is a set there will be tra induction training it is called when any employee is inducted in our company there will be induction training will be there so that is set by us so we a senior team will sit what is the induction is to be done so that is already set and again i myself try to I mean visit the projects and motivate the team every time i remind them and we have a, a quarterly meeting wherein all the senior team will come and will review the things and will motivate them what exactly the vision of the company so i i'm I mean, open to share that the vision is not a transmitted in my company to the bottom most, not yet, but we are, we are in the process because everybody they listen and transfer transforming is not I mean tra transfer uh, transferring is not happening in actively, so it's in the process and even I go to the extent I mean uh, last week I went to a project even I spoke to the workers where. they are doing practical working i mean a rod bender we call it uh, uh, i mean uh, shattering contractor small labor also i spoke to them about the vision of the company so it's in the process of uh, uh, transferring the our vision to the lowest uh, employee yeah i think uh, the, i'm sorry yeah, can please. i can i follow up yeah please please i think uh, i think the cause is is amazing and bringing it down as you said to the to the bottom level is very important i think one way to achieve that is by um increasing engagement um in the causes that you are providing um from from a, from a leadership standpoint as well i wanted to ask you about um you you touched on during your presentation about the vision is a 10 year one am i correct yes yes 10 so what happens after 10 years do you modify the vision so that it is always uh, renewed or i just want to know how that how that part works of it definitely definitely after i mean by 2030 my vision is 2030 definitely on 30th i mean we are going to have again celebrations what we had in 30 year celebration in 2030 also we are going to have a celebration we are want to show what we targeted what we should also show then again we'll have a, a, one more target unless you have some goals I don't think any organization will grow. I mean, this thing. I wanted to. My vision is my company has to live forever. That's what I'm my planning. My succession already. My daughter is there. She's already. I mean, is a CEO of the company. And all we have the plans. Even we wanted to uh, our employees also to be the part of our uh, uh, company. Who has to run the company for? Uh, uh, I mean, continue for um, several years. Thank you so much. I think I'm done. So thank you, thank you all. Thank you.